Hello everyone, so today, welcome to the vlog. We are doing something I have never ever ever done before today, which is scary. If you guys didn't know, I'm currently in an out of major class. So this is not my major. I am not a ceramics major, but I'm gonna be taking some ceramic classes. And right now we are about to go do a glaze test. And I don't know what happened to the intro of my video. It got lost somewhere in the ether. So I'm here refilming it. But today we're gonna be doing some glaze testing, which is basically, we're gonna break down glazes and we're gonna make stuff and it's gonna be really cool i'm gonna be in the ceramics lab for the first time so i wanted to come share the experience with you guys because i've never done it before and i was like you know what i feel like this new experience should be properly documented you know because i don't really know what i'm doing which is new for me because i feel like normally in illustration stuff i'm like super planned out with everything that i'm trying to do so we're gonna go in the lab and try to figure it out and hope that i don't do anything wrong we're gonna do some testing of the glaze but first i have to go to the lab so we're gonna do that first this morning so yeah exciting very scary don't know how this is gonna go but it's an experience for all of us today yay i guess i should probably put my hair up i'm gonna go try to do this i'm a little scared but i'm hoping it'll be fine yeah of course I just got my breakfast from Starbucks and now we're gonna head over to the ceramic room. But first I actually have to get a cone 10 underglaze pencil. I don't know what that means, but I have to get it to mark my tile. So we're gonna go to the 3D store, 2D store. I don't know where this is gonna be. I'm gonna try the 3D store. Currently at the Rizzi store, trying desperately to find this random pencil. Update, turns out they're out of the pencil. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I really need to get these done today, so. Hopefully my TA can figure something out. I don't know, but we're gonna go to the studio, I guess. Welcome to the ceramics elevator. This is what it looks like. We're going to the fourth floor for my my studio space, I guess, where I'm allowed to work. We're gonna try our best out here to figure this out. Here we are. We are in here before I turn the really loud ventilator on and then you won't be able to hear anything at all, but that's where I'm gonna be working. So here's a lab. This room is filled with a bunch of different powders and stuff. We're gonna be mixing them to make glazes. Here are the test tiles we made. You guys saw me make them in one of my vlogs earlier, but here they all are. I'm gonna try to pick out some of the nicer ones, but they're all pretty much the same level of kind of not nice, but pretty good. And I'm just trying to find some nice ones to pick out for my glaze tests. So these buckets, I picked these out. They're all different sizes, but it literally doesn't matter. So I'm gonna take these now so i'm in the lab now trying to get all my stuff out i got a ventilator this thing was so expensive oh my god but i gotta put it on so i don't inhale any of the tiny little particles because we're using a bunch of stuff now i'm turning on the vents and that's why the rest of this video is a voiceover because it is so incredibly loud in here like I need my AirPod Pros to hear my music, but we're gonna measure out a bunch of glazes. So basically we're doing this thing where we're taking like a recipe for glaze and we're gonna take out one of each of the elements and we're going to see what it does exactly when the glaze doesn't have that element. So I'm gonna be mixing these. I do clean my little scoop guy in between every single different like material that I pick out so if you guys don't see me do that I just didn't edit it in I swear I'd be doing that but right now I'm mixing them a bit off camera I realized it was off camera so I moved the little container to in the camera but basically I put all my stuff in this calculator that my professor provided and then we're just gonna be mixing these glazes so we're using like the same few materials but we're gonna be altering the amount so I'm mixing like I think six different glazes and then we're also gonna be doing oxidization and reduction firing so that's the the task for today but basically i'm gonna just follow my little excel sheet that i have printed out i printed it out because this is the only class where i feel like i shouldn't have my laptop in this room because it's really really dirty and messy and i end up doing a lot more different tasks in here as well i realized that there are some gloves back here that i should be using and i dropped one so i'm going to put these on obviously safety first ahaha ah, i've never worked in this lab so honestly like my first glaze that i mixed took me so long because i didn't really have the protocol down yet you know i didn't really know where things were and it was really complicated and so i'm just trying to measure out the exact amount that the recipe calls for this is basically following a recipe which i think i'm pretty good at i like to bake and i like to cook and i like to follow directions so 
As long as something tells me exactly what to do, I feel like I can manage. So I actually really enjoyed this because also one of my weirdly satisfying hobbies is just mixing things. I really like mixing things. I think it's really satisfying. So I'm measuring out the correct amount of water to do. And the first time that I did this water, my professor recommended 75 grams of water for 100 grams of the powder and that did not go well so you're about to see me make a big mistake ahaha ah, but this glaze came out way too thick luckily i had some experience in high school with glaze so i kind of know what it's supposed to do he wanted us to dip it and pull it out and i did and they were like the chunkiest things ever these glazes did not come out right because i just didn't have enough water so it was so thick on the tile and it was not right as you can see it's cracking and so i redid it with more water as you can see on these tiles and they're nice and smooth and this is how they're supposed to be so i ended up doing 100 grams of water for 100 grams of powder and that's how i ended up doing it but yeah this was like super fun i labeled the back as well so i knew what i was looking at later because this did not uh <laughs> make any sense to me when it came out of the kiln so luckily i labeled all of them and i used my ta's pencil because they didn't have any at the RISD store yeah i'm pretty much just doing the same thing over and over again with different recipes and it's basically like baking but you can't eat it which kind of sucks we're just doing the same thing you know just getting some tasks done and this was actually really satisfying to me. I feel like this is also a very tedious process, which a lot of art students don't enjoy, but honestly, if you don't like tedious things and you're an art student, I pray for your survival because I feel like half of the stuff that art students have to do is just extremely tedious and I thankfully, enjoy this process and i like doing the same exact thing over and over and over again because i like getting better at it and getting faster at it here's one of the glazes i mixed with colorant by the way and it's green and i thought that was really weird because my glaze is supposed to be pink but apparently there's something in this glaze where the colorant reacts with a different chemical that's inside and so i'm able to mix it and it looks green but it comes out pink i swear so i don't really know the science magic that happens with this glaze but stuff happens you know like i said my only experience with glaze was from high school where i basically didn't do much but here i am emulsion blending which is a mistake that i make later and you will see but i'm gonna dip my tiles again like i've been doing it's pretty much the same thing you know i'm gonna keep making different glazes and dipping them and i dip them twice so he wants us to dip them in one time and then let it run down the bottom and then next time we dip it the opposite side and let it run down that end just so it's like a pretty even dip i guess and this process i got much 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 better at because the first time i did it it was so awkward i feel like i didn't know how to properly do it because my hands were not like at the proper angle like this looks easy guys this is extremely like weird feeling i don't know why i didn't want the like glaze to get on my hands i didn't want any of that stuff so it felt so weird but i got it to work and as you can see here are my two little test tiles and they look pretty neat right like that's pretty good so those are the second ones that i did with the colorant the first one i did without a colorant and that's why it's not green but the second one got some green in it and we're just gonna keep doing this process so now i'm running around getting like really used to the glaze lab which is why i like doing tedious things because when you do difficult things once like it's really complicated and sure you don't have to do it again but you never really get better at it so when I'd be doing complicated things, I'd be getting better at it because I have to do it over and over again, you know? But I'm just mixing materials, um, mixing out 100 grams, and then I'm going to blend it with another 100 grams and do the emulsion thing. And it just, it does the magic, you know? Um, I know what I'm mixing because I know the chemical names, but do I know the logistics? Not really. And here's the colorant going in again. It's this green box and it's really confusing because it's green like why is it green <laughs> and so we're gonna mix the water in again just mix 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 and this also reminds me a lot of those soap makers i've always wanted to use an emulsion blender i never had an excuse to obviously and now i can and it was so satisfying i know that's like such an arbitrary thing to be excited about but i've honestly always wanted an excuse to use like half of the art materials that i see at michael's craft store that i never really get to use so when i do something completely new it gets me really excited like when i started crocheting over the summer and i finally got to venture out into the yarn aisle of like a craft store that was super cool so getting to use an emulsion blender was very very fun and so i'm doing the dip thing again and i'm getting a lot better at it too so like my hands aren't as awkward but they're definitely still kind of strange 
I've done this dipping process one time before this at a summer camp when I was chosen to go as like Georgia's top 1% of students and I dipped my sculpture in glaze one time and I know it soaks it up super fast so instead of like waiting for them to dry all the way through they're pretty much dry right when I finish them so I just like dip them back in to do the second dip and then I let it dry thoroughly. Had to do this a couple times and I got better at it, thankfully. And also here's my chart that I printed out. It's very janky and I'm like crossing out the ones I have done and I'm on the last one. So that's really exciting. You can see all my tiles, but we're gonna get ready to do the last one. So I'm cleaning all my materials like always because you wanna clean them in between every single one to make sure there's no cross contamination. Yay. And then we're just going to get all the materials. And at this point, I'm like so fast. I started doing these with like in like 30 seconds not actually but I was getting so fast at this it was actually kind of impressive and I like it because I feel like I'm learning you know which is really satisfying and fun and so I'm like running around the lab at all these different places trying to find the right materials and then making sure they're the right material because I'm so paranoid about it being wrong and that's one of the things that I don't like about glaze is that you literally don't know what it's gonna look like until you fire it and then by the time it's fired, it's too late to fix any mistakes that you made because how are you supposed to know? And so, yep, wiping down every time. I did it every single time, I swear. And we're just going to keep doing this, you know? I'm mixing the water in now, which is fun. And you get to make your glaze soup, good soup. And now I emulsion blend. Look how fast I am at doing all these steps now, oh my God. But yeah, I didn't emulsion blend these for long enough because I didn't really know. I kind of got a demonstration. This class is all online and I'm learning this through a series of videos. But here's how my glazes came out. And as you can see, some of them are cracking, which is fine because when glaze cracks, it just like reforms in the kiln or so I thought. TLDR, it was supposed to crack, so it's okay. But I'm gonna clean up the edges right now and I'm using this sponge with some water and glaze is like super easy to clean off, so. I just had to go through and do all of this and as you can see that one's like really messy most of the edges are okay because they only overspilled by like half a centimeter and it looks pretty good but you know just wanted to make sure it was clean just in case there were any drippings because that can happen because these glazes are kind of unstable and then towards the end found this super cool way oh my gosh to clean off glaze you just rub it like this instead of holding the sponge up and here they all are all finished Wow, they look so nice, look so fancy, and I made sure to label all of them, and those are the messy ones that I will be trashing because I, you know, this shows progress, so at least we're making some progress, because look how nice the new ones look, oh my god. But now we're gonna just clean everything, you know, I'm gonna wipe down everything and run it through the sink and do all that good stuff. I'm gonna get rid of all this trash and wipe down the scale. We don't have many scales for some reason in this room, like you see those super old scales back there but other than that like that's that's all we've really got i'm gonna wipe down this table which is so satisfying this is one of my favorite things to do in general after i finish a project is like cleaning my surface area so that i have a nice new place to work and so now i'm gonna put the tiles here with everyone else's tiles as you can see and i'm just trying to find a spot on these tile holders to place them and this was the last step and i'm very excited to be done because this ventilator is cutting into my face oh my god so i'm putting them all on this little thing one side is for oxidation and one side is for reduction and here they all are with everyone's stuff and i'm finally done ow i'm done i am now on my way out i am done I'm gonna go back to my room I feel accomplished back in my room. So that is pretty much all I have for now. I will come back because our stuff gets fired on Tuesday and then it finishes on like Thursday and my class is on Friday. So I'll get my test tiles back by the time this video goes up. So I will insert clips at the end. But that's the end for today. I'm about to go get boba with my friends because I am so thirsty and I'm very excited because I want juice. But um, yeah, it went okay. I got a lot faster towards the end. So like, I'm very happy about that because in the beginning I was so slow. And I feel like that just always happens with things like you improve and you get better. So I feel more comfortable in there, but I'm also <laughs> super anxious and worried that I just like did all of it wrong because you don't know how your glazes are gonna turn out until you literally finish. So I have to wait for them to get fired before I can tell. This strand of hair looks really, oh, the rest of my hair is long. Okay, I couldn't tell. That's 
how my life is going so i'm gonna have to wait and see how that goes but i will see you guys when it's done so for tonight's adventure because it's saturday baby we went to this place called plant city which i've never been to and it is now our new hangout spot because they have this nitro chocolate bar coffee and it is so good but they have little pastries and they're really really cute and this whole place is vegan so that's really cool and friendly if you're a vegan friendly yeah you should come here but we are just chilling so we got some day old pastries because they're only a dollar and i'm sitting above the cutest sign ah! we're gonna eat and hang out it's been a long long day very tired your shoulder is famous Alrighty everyone, so it has been several several days, but the results are in. So I got my little tiles back. They're all here in this little container. They are so strange. So I thought I did stuff wrong. Apparently I did not do anything wrong because my professor let me know that everything was fine. I didn't do anything wrong because I was like, uh, is this supposed to turn out like this? Look how freaking weird, they're little blobs. We did, so basically this was a test of like glaze materials, stuff in glaze and like what it does. So we would mix the glaze and then we would take out an element each time and then test it without that one specific element. So this is the glaze naturally how it's supposed to look. I did not do the best job of emulsion blending. So I need to do that better because that's why it is so like, it's also the materials we have apparently are just not the best for this specific glaze, but here it is without the colorant. So obviously like nothing changes except that there's just no color to it. So this is for oxidation. We also did reduction. And for the reduction one, it started crackalacking. This is the original one, but in reduction. So like same glaze, different firing. And so apparently my glaze turns into a crawling glaze. So these are also reductions, um, two and four. And they start creating these little blobbies because it's a reduction crawling glaze. So it starts like separating and making these blobs, which I thought was not supposed to happen because no one else's in my classes was doing that. But apparently that's what mine does. And that's really cool because one of the glazes I wanted to test was actually a reduction crawling glaze. I was like, sick. Some of them turn green. This is oxidation reduction. This is the same glaze. Um, they turn green because the material that I had for making it pink reacts to another material that makes it pink. And without the reaction, it's green, which you guys saw when I was mixing it. I was putting like a green pigment in, even though it would turn out pink. So that's really weird. Uh, kind of sus, whatever. I believe it. I'm not going to argue. Yeah. And then here's just some other ones. Um, it starts cracking and then it starts crawling. So this is like the early stages of that happening. That's pretty much how my glaze test turned out. I also have these two really flaky ones. I don't know what these mean. Overall, um, apparently I did everything right. So I am quite pleased about that. But yeah, so um, this was my first time doing a glaze test ever. The only glaze stuff that I did in high school was literally from a bottle, embarrassingly enough. So this was actually really fun. I've been enjoying this class a lot and I'm gonna make more vlogs about it because we're actually doing a clay test next, which I'm actually really excited because we'll be making stuff out of clay. So I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Let me know if you've done anything clay or glaze related and if you can give me some tips because this is not my major and I'm taking it because I need out of major credits. So let me know. I will see you guys in the next video. So thank you guys so much for watching, for hanging out with me during this very fun experimental time because I've never done anything like this. And I really appreciate you guys supporting me. So stay hydrated, take a nap everyone, and I will see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and goodbye.